Hey guys, this is a bit of a throwback video. I actually appraised this property back in 2020 and it was just really unique and eclectic. I want you to check it out. First, make sure you subscribe to this channel, check out the tour, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the property, how much it sold for, how big it was, and all that good stuff. But it's a really crazy place. I got this unique property I'm doing today. I'm doing this appraisal on. I'm actually in an alley over here off of 10th Street Southeast. The property used to be a carriage house, but basically the guy lives in it. He'll rent it out as Airbnb, but it is quite unique. This would have been the old doors for the carriages. Now they have these um, axles. This is used wheel bearings from automobiles. Oh, wow. So they are really heavy duty. The raw iron work here and here and around were all done by the owner anyway. Gotcha. So come on in. All right. He took these doors from an old farmhouse in Virginia, and then he came in and he did all this yeah. work. He has cobblestones. Those are new. Uh-huh. This is limestone from Virginia and also from the Lakota Formation that they used to make the American Native American Museum building out of. Gotcha, yeah. It's more inside. Okay. Again, another door. Yeah. All the woods are rare and exotic woods. This is called spalded yeah. maple, where it gets this weird kind of thing in there. That's cool. These are old fits uh, and barn siding wood. This is the limestone, the Lakota limestone that you saw in the American Museum. Yeah. These steps came out of a home in Georgetown that were being remodeled the lumber for them. Right. It came from an old Georgetown place. They're held to a stainless steel framework with these railroad ties mm -hmm. that are 100 years old from Texas. Oh my goodness. They were brought in. <laughs> the guy who brought him in almost got a hernia bringing them in. They were that heavy? They, yes, they were that heavy. <laughs> These stairs, uh, the wrought iron in that is also something that he did. An old rafter joist that he adapted. Mm -hmm. These are repurposed bar uh, things, fixtures, these little gotcha. posies here. Yeah. Lots of rare wood and repurposed Americana. Put it up. Yes, these doors right, open yeah. and close together. <laughs> they are balanced from below. That's cool. They are. All right, yeah. let me take a look from this from this from this angle. Go ahead. We'll close that door. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. A more lumber and wood and rock built this in maple. You may be able to tell that the rock fell at L O. The e oh, yeah, 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 I can see it in it's there. It's not obvious, but it's there. <laughs> All um, right, look, you can see the L. Wait, I'm going to see if I can put my... Sorry, There's the L, L the O, oh, the, v. the V, and the E. Got you. Okay. The cupola was part of the original. He put in the stars. The windows, that's actually by... God, I can't remember the name of the artist, but it's rather famous style. Uh -huh. The blue mirrors are the rare, the braided cable that circles it kind of yeah. continues that motif yeah these little angels came off of cocktail tables at a bar believe it or not oh my goodness um little inset tiles of Marilyn monroe gold uh <laughs> tiles lots of exotic woods lots of exotic things i mean there's a lot of little small details, details in here <laughs> yeah. there's one and one this is like crazy range yeah. Stainless steel double sink. And you said this is an Airbnb. He used this as an Airbnb. This is Airbnb back when you could do Airbnb. Right, right. Pretty nicely designed by someone. This is woven, not maple, maple, woven birch. But anyway, these, this is wood woven into slats. Oh my goodness. After you steam them. And then they're sealed with uh, fiberglass rosin to make them waterproof. Right. More stone, black marble. Dishwasher. Yeah. Built in that chandeliers reset. He has over here a little desk area. Right, right. That looks out over the place at one time. That's where the hay would have come in. Okay. More exotic woods, more imported tiles, yeah. more things. Here is his laundry. 
which is right here. Okay, there you go. That makes sense. wash and, and dryer. And holds fairly much the pure size. It's big enough for the laundry. Yeah, you can actually yeah. walk in there and do it. Yeah. And throw the laundry there when you got people coming over <laughs> without having to do it first. Exactly. Well, and this is the bedroom. A lot of the fixtures in here came out of railroads, believe it or not. Yeah. These came from an old, what do they call the, the car at the end? Oh, yeah, the, the cable, the um, caboose. The caboose. Yeah. Those came out of a caboose. The headboard came out, I think, of a sleeper car. This old lumber came out of an old, I think Colorado or New Mexico cabin. Oh wow. Those I holes were caused stuff. by, <laughs> this was a labor of love. For yeah, me. I tell you. Again, lots of built-ins, mm -hmm. a closet. These are little antique beams. Right. Spalled in maple. This is where Another mini split goes that he hasn't replaced. Okay, okay. It got damaged. That's and gonna, the bathroom in there. We got the bathroom. Oh, wait. Wow, look at this. This is another. That's his linen closet and storage area. Yeah, but that wood is clean. Yeah, again, it's called maple, cut like that, partially burnt. Right, right, right. And yeah, he's got more antiques. And there he is here. <laughs> Again, this is crazy. Very nice. Another shower bath with Italian tile. Right. Teak. Yeah. He did the stained glass window. Man. More stone, more tile, more, more, more. A little baseboard heater because you never have too much heat in a bathroom. Right. There you Another, go. Another. This is where you put your linen. Sorry. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was for other stuff. Socks and awesome. t-shirts. Yeah. Okay. And we have some more of that wood here too. Yeah. Man. I know. Lots of nice stuff. A bookcase. Another window that opens up. Yeah. Go up to the Yeah, go ahead. Alright, we're headed to the roof. Up the ladder to the roof. This house is crazy. the area where he lived okay this mantle is lavender marble lavender pink it's from italy yeah it was in a house that he worked on that got remodeled he salvaged it uh -huh. this is some marble chunks turned sideways to show the exposed wood maple and redwood <laughs> nice little closet yeah he used spall it's spall yeah Okay. Maple for this to make a little office, yeah, yeah. which takes up way too much space. <laughs> In my opinion, I'd pull yeah. it out and just have it all. You just have a big, big spot. And then he has keeping with the arch doorway look. Yeah. At one time this was open. He put this in later. Okay. To separate them. And hold on. We got our kitchen. The reason why is I forgot to show this. This is the other outside door that goes out. Oh, okay. To yeah. Where the car was yeah. parked. Yeah. Yeah. And then and we have the washing dryer. Yeah. Which, cool. He's got more storage over here behind the shower. Uh huh. And this takes up a lot of room. But again, he was kind of working. He was he's a master electrician. So. Right. 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 But he had a microwave and a fridge and a sink and a bathroom and a bed. Right, right. And that's all he really needed. And he could rent upstairs and pay the mortgage. So. Yeah, well, cool. He's got a mini split up here. This is where you can see the, the way those doors work together. Let me see. So that they, okay. that they would open and close yeah. together. Huh. <laughs> so those are bicycle. I tell you, he built that. Bicycle back. change. Yeah. Yeah, he did all that. Man. He also welded up the steel stairs. Uh-huh. Originally he had stone on that and it was killer. Not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> so downstairs could use a little work. Upstairs yeah. is pretty neat if a little kinky. Yeah. All right, so you've seen the house. That house was actually located in an alley. It was a former carriage house, and at some point it got separated from the house that it used to be the garage for, basically. It did not have any lot at all, so the entire footprint of the house was the entire lot. The house measured about a 1,000 square feet total. It had 500 on the main level and 500 upstairs. You already saw how tight it was and how crazy 
crazy it was, but the guy sold it for $550,000. One bedroom, two bathroom home, and located in Southeast DC. It was an up and coming area at the time. It was, you know, it's just kind of a crazy home. I want to know, would you buy that house? Would you even consider that? And if you did, what would you do with it? I just want to hear your thoughts and comments. Please share them with me and I'll check you out on the next one.